Hi guys, this is Alex and today I'm going to show you how to fix an expensive mouse. Well, when you first start Photoshop, start learning Photoshop, there are two things that happen. One, usually you break the mouse. And two, is uh, basically you break your back or have a sore back. So, for the sore back I don't have much uh, to tell you, except, you know, take a hot shower and or get a masseuse or take a sh hot shower with a masseuse but for the mouse well <clears throat> here's my thing <clears throat> I open up my mouse and uh, found out that uh, uh, basically the cable that hooks to my mouse here is uh, welded on 5.12345 there's a uh, red yellow yellow red green and uh, blue and uh, I found out that uh, this was the problem, so I put some beer on it at some point. So here it's a little bit stiff, here's a little flexible. So it's basically I have to change this, but I don't have another one. So what I will do is uh, basically carefully extract these uh, five pins and uh, j just make, make a picture before. And uh, after that, I will uh, cut this. Uh, refit this to my because uh, this is important. Uh, sorry, uh, this is important. I'm just gonna uh, because it it uh, holds on to the the cable at uh, the length, so you cannot pull it from the other. So it's important to keep it. Uh, usually, you just cut it here and then drag it like that. Uh, drag it on the cable. And then uh, put some super glue or whatever. I'll use um, uh, super glue so, uh, to just uh, and maybe you know pay more attention in the future. But anyway, let's start this. Uh, we're like I don't know a few minutes uh, behind, so I will uh, take my soldering gun and you know because this is what I like to do. So I will take this busted out because I was kind of into Photoshop and uh, I just you know this is a very expensive uh, mouse we're not uh, talking about five euros here this is why I'm doing it because uh, I wouldn't uh, um, fix a mouse that would be less than uh, I don't know 50 bucks so uh, this is a, uh, a I don't know, maybe 50 bucks, 60 bucks uh, mouse. It's a laser one. So, yeah. Let's see. Green is second. I'm just gonna try to pull on it while I am. So, yeah. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. I wanna do it in the air. Yay. I got one. Now we go for the blue, because it's always good to have some blue. Hello, blue one. Oh, my hands are shaky. So let's go for the red. There's always a red. You know, I can't have uh, in this life nothing without the red. Nothing without the red, and then we go for the yellow. Hello. Uh, this is a bit of a pain. Let's go for the other one, and then we come back to this one. Yes, the other one was uh, better educated. I'm always running off camera. Sorry about that. Okay. So we got the bastards. Uh, okay, just gonna switch this off for a while, let it cool down. Okay, so we got this. Uh, now we put this bastard aside. I mean, the first sign of a mouse a, a failure is just um, um, you don't have the it uh, connecting and reconnecting to your computer so it goes to ding to ding to ding to ding or you know so, or similar okay now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna try to 
cut these things. Um, I mean, in my mind, it was pretty easy to do this, but from the looks of things here, well, well actually my mind was pretty accurate. <coughs> so you just uh, leave the first bit, first bit here with it and then just go back. And I suspect, I heard a which was not that great. Okay, so I have a lot of cables, so I'm good with that. Um, what I want to do next is just measure this because we'll need to strip uh, this much because it goes in inside the mouse. So um, I don't know. Uh, I'll just go like that. I'll just maybe a little bit further. I have well, I don't really need a lot of because I have a keyboard with a USB in it inside, so I can hook my USB to my. Key my mouse to the keyboard so I'm, I'm fine okay good good so I measure this much okay maybe I give it a little bit more uh, something like that and then I cut I have a cutter here so I cut clean cut okay and okay so this was the bastard I hope this was a bastard from my indication so you have to play a little bit with the cable um, basically you play a little bit with the cable and then if you hear it ta-ding 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 you do a, a bit of you know testing and then to see where this testing is uh, where, where the uh, the instance occur so uh, when, you, when you feel that that's your point then uh, you uh, just realize where you have to uh, and usually it's just in front of the mouse um, it, it just just outside the mouse so it's okay good good I hope you realize my way of thinking so um, <laughs> so you have to play to identify where uh, exactly uh, the the problem is on the cable and then you decide where you how you uh, perform your uh, um, repair okay good good so for me in my case it was just outside the uh, casing of the mouse now I will try to put a few drops of this liquid that saved my ass a couple of times so yeah, I did a couple of things so it's just to, to uh, block the um, this should be quick drying, so that's okay. Um, <clears throat> block the uh, cable from uh, slipping uh, and from breaking again. Okay, I'm just gonna blow a little bit of air. I see it's a uh, it's a uh, viscous this viscosity viscosity viscosity. It's uh, it gets a little bit uh, thicker so that's a good sign that we will not have uh, a lot of issues with this good good um, my issue here is that uh, we have a weird uh, configuration here um, basically this is a bit of a cloth a cloth like that is just for design from my point of view and inside is the real cable I don't know if you can see I'm just going to okay um, maybe I will just cut it a little bit here it's not actually dry so oh come on please anyway just gonna stop the video here and then let it dry a little bit because I can't really work there and uh, this stuff is not exactly uh, super healthy if you touch it uh, and it's, <laughs> it's a pain to get it off your hands so I'll stop it here and I'll continue in a few seconds hello guys this is uh, well this is <laughs> still me um, well I found out that the best uh, way to extract this is to make an incision here and then try to pull this because this is a uh, elastic uh, rubbery and uh, just pull this out and then you will see the cables 
and what I want to do now is basically take one cable and try to pull it out because if you try to pull this in one go here uh, it will from my calculations it will uh, rip the uh, the cables apart so I need to be you know just there and to pull one by one or you know try to extract one of the cables uh, in order to give them more room I can also try to because I see there's a gap there is there's one two one two three four five I see five of them I will try to separate them there without maybe okay just um, I've never done this before so bear with me for a second I see one cable that might have suffered some minor problems there but the idea is that we are inside the mouse here and we should be good because we'll be able to spread them in order to um, make them separate so you understand what I mean uh, this is inside the mouse uh, we're working uh, on the section of the cable that will be inside the mouse and usually the problem they don't uh, they're not here so so for the moment I have separated uh, I don't know if it's focus, but anyway, separated the cables. I see them well there. I'm not sure if I. Uh, I'm just gonna try to pull. It went well for the moment. Yep, I'm okay here. I'm just looking at the damage here, if any. So uh, this is a little bit, I twist it a little bit so it went back to its normal self and the other ones are untouched. So there was only well, this one. Well, that's that. Um, yep, so the idea's next step uh, would be to um, heat up a little bit so you don't have this mess here not really fun of heating but anyway I'm just gonna okay try to burn this if you don't uh, if you have don't have a uh, tool like I do I use a uh, you can use a uh, what do you call it a lighter good good so that's that now for the second part of the uh, procedure uh, we need to um, put some solder on the uh, each of the legs here so if you look here there was it's like what two millimeters of solder the idea is that when you put solder you should be able to also burn the uh, varnish that's on the tips there so there's a big big uh, uh, contact so okay now I'm uh, trying to manage this and I will also need to have um, yeah some flux you need flux and you need um, soldering um, paste I guess so I'm going to put some flux here in order to maybe damp that thing remember to put some air into your room in order to you know avoid
This was supposed to. That's a funny, funny thing here. Okay, so you just go like that. Heat up this. You put it inside that flux, and then you should be able to. Um, well, have it. Uh, soldered <laughs> okay play with it a little bit until it um, mm, I don't know if you see here but anyway um, I guess you understand what I'm doing uh, the idea is that if you if you jiggle with it a little bit then you will be able to um, melt the how do you call it? Varnish that's there that protects the wire insulation, let's say, and uh, the, the solder will stick better. I'm trying, I'm desperately trying to speak English today. Anyway, um, it's because I'm focusing on these things. Okay, so same thing over and over again about five times so this is second time for the red wire it's good to have some flux I can already see the pigment the red pigment that's just disintegrating and it's allowing me to insert that soldering paste onto the tip Okay, that's two. You don't have to be perfect. I mean, um, as long as the uh, weld is secure uh, and it has a little bit of contact, uh, then you should be fine. So, because it never breaks there, it breaks uh, where you take the wire of the uh, how do you call it of the mouse. Uh, between the legs and then you pull very very strong <laughs> very violent uh, and then you trip and then you break your nose and uh, yeah that's that's how it breaks really it doesn't break here but anyway in order to have some contacts we need to have some contacts so this is why we make sure that you know there is contact anyway that's good enough I mean it's it's not like it's good I mean I'm doing it properly uh, don't uh, I, I know you don't see I would probably I always tell this but I never do it but anyway I, I can also make some pictures close-up pictures and post them just to show to you but if I finish this video today it's gonna be too late because I need my Photoshop! Uh, so, yeah, that's okay. One, two, three, four, five. That's record breaking! Yay, yay, yay! Okay, what I was. Um, what I wanted to do now is also clean up those holes. So, let me see if I can do that. And just real quick. So the idea is that we need to have those holes in the mouse clean in order to place them. Okay, maybe we need to put a piece of paper on top of this so we don't get messed up. That's temporary for the video. Okay. Maybe clean it. Maybe not. <laughs> You see? <laughs> Weird. I have all these sorts of colorful things here. Anyway, let me just put that down for a sec. I don't need a cutter anymore. Let me see if I can... Clear those holes. Mm -hmm. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 
some of them they have leftover renews of the cables so I'm just going to have a look here how many holes have a hole no none so none of them are um, you can see through of them which, so you don't don't see through them so I'm just going to try to extract the Yay. Yep, one is good. Mm -hmm. Two is good. Sorry, you don't see much, but well, I hope you kind of see some of them. I have like two good and one bad. <laughs> First one was bad. So let's go here. So I kind of heat them up and then. Maybe not this time, but hit them up and suck the flux from there. Okay, that one is it's kind of a messy situation because I don't have all the equipment. So yeah, that was not that good, but. I hate to hit too much, heat up too much, so... Anyway, I made a picture of all this, so... Where everybody goes. So, I have another one. I have two more. The first one that didn't go so well. First one is down. And then there's a fourth one here. <laughs> Didn't arm the thing. So, yay. Yay, no. <laughs> anyway. Oh, please. It's always Murphy. Murphy, leave me alone. Mr. Murphy! Murphy, Mr. Murphy! Yep. Murphy was good to me this time, eh? Okay. So we're good. I don't know. Let me show you what I've done. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's somewhere here. I don't know. I should see some of them holes. Mm, well, maybe not today. You see? So, yeah, let me just go back now. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get the, um, the picture. Let me just do that. So I have the picture here of the what to put where. So that's my uh, problem. So the first one from the whatever. So that's CN CN1. I have some markings here on the other side. So you will have your own uh, thing going. So that's blue. So we start with the blue. Mr. Blue. So we take the blue thing, and uh, yeah, I can stick it in there, you know, if it sticks. Let me just, maybe just a little bit. It's important to have it really like thin. Yeah, I'll use the tile again. I'm a little bit off camera, but trust me, I'm not doing funny business. Mm -hmm. Good, good. So, we have CN here. Not a very well... 
not a very good my mouse is really Ah oh, shit. I was about to call it very nice mousy and it is it still is a very nice mousy where's that flux where's that flux mr flux well, yep. not flux but soldering paste so we can do it here like that sorry i'm a little bit trembling but you know when you drink alcohol <laughs> Perfect. Per el perfecto. Okay, now moving on to the next. Let's see the green. Let's see, do we have still time? We have time for one more. Um, so, I have time for one more because I'm running out of memory on the camera. So, you see, I have a lot of issues there. You didn't go up, no? No. So that was green, right? Let me double check. Green it is. So. Perfect. El perfecto. Yes. Yes. Well, I will um, give you guys the continuation of this thing after I just take everything from the camera and come back okay bye and it actually is not <laughs> um, my camera has a 20 minute um, limit on the video so <laughs> I'll deal with that in a second okay next cable <clears throat> so next cable should be red fully red 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 so red is here mr. red mr. red that's red. Let me see it here. It says D on this thing, so. But just time, you know, before we take the cable, make a picture because you will not be able to understand whatever. Okay. So it's important to have those holes cleaned like me I didn't so now I'm having issues so the third hole here the middle hole this doesn't go through I can try to force it or the best is to try to do a some cleaning up yeah. yeah that was it sometimes you see sometimes you just need to go out of your comfort zone and to clean it up even if you don't feel like yep that was good I hope you see all of this so I don't have to kind of mumbo jumbo on top of the video after that because I hate editing <laughs> I hate editing come on what a bastard Serious heat. Okay, so yeah. Yep, that's okay. Still have like fourteen minutes until I get the again the the ban. So I'm the third. Finish the third, I have two more. After the red after the red I have the yellow Mr. Yellow that was the problematic guy at the beginning of this video so yeah not a problem now yeah he's okay there let me just quickly
That was very, very cool of the yellow. Yep. And now for the last, but not least, it should be the ready yellow. Red yellow. Yellow red. Ready yellow. Yellow. Okay, I have a little bit of a cable here issue, but okay, let's hope that's inside the mouse and it's gonna. It's gonna be like I told you. Oh uh, well, Murphy, the hell is wrong with you today? Okay, Mr. Murphy, please allow me to finish this video within the century because I hate editing well you gotta do what you gotta do maybe we'll have to clean this one again but anyway it's not the hole that needs cleaning it's basically the tip of this cable that's really a bit of a bitch I got it through. Now let's fix it in place and do a freaking test. Yay. Okay, let's finish with the heat. So I I am thrilled of how this uh, went through because I'm pretty clean here, considering I'm videotaping and uh, also thinking of what to say, and not to bore you to death. Uh, I have all my cables here, very very neat. Okay, just gonna do a quick test. Oh, hmm. actually, you know what? I was on my. So I should be able to see some lighting here. Yep. See? I don't know if you see, but I have the light and then let me see if I can scroll. Because I've been working with a mouse. I have a computer here, so. But anyway, it's straightforward procedural. I mean, not. Let me see if I can scroll. I just go to YouTube Desk, Video Manager or something. I'm all over the place because I have a, like, <laughs> I know what's happening now. Uh, my uh, laser mouse is just uh, uh, not getting any idea of what's what. So it's always, uh, yeah, I need to put into the casing and do a proper test. But anyway, I'll be back. The idea is that uh, that's the way to do it. Uh, so in my, my wheel is working mm. I don't know if you can see I don't know what, how to show you but anyway I have 10 minutes more so um, okay sorry about that um, now I have to set up the uh, just a sec I will, my hand will take it off the stand I'm really sorry for this so you can see that there's a light there so that's okay uh, but I also have a, a um, laser there, uh, it's, it's not a laser, it's a LED, simple LED, but anyway, uh, it's considered to be a laser and it's not pointing towards something stable, so my mouse, if you have a look, it's just going um, sideways. So I will stop it here and, and reassemble this. I'm not good at the disassembling and assembling tutorials because I'm not kind of the guy that's gonna tell you everything, you know. I'm the guy that's gonna tell you how to do things, new things, not how to, you know, disassemble or assemble a mouse. That's stupid. Uh, not stupid, uh, but it's not my thing, you know. I mean, just showing people how to unscrew a screw. 
<laughs> it doesn't uh, <laughs> get any satisfaction out of my uh, out of me. So it's just boring. Okay, good, good. So um, yeah, I'll kind of put it this together and uh, I'll give you my honest opinion afterwards. If I did it, I did it. If I didn't do it, probably I scratched the the. Um, the laser or the um, loop or I don't know, call it magnified glass or the glass uh, at the bottom of the uh, mouse and I'll have a weird mouse like this one it's doing, oh no, you see <laughs> this is how it does this is the effect now so we know that it works only we're not sure if it's gonna be okay good good I bored you enough. I'll see you in a few seconds. Bye. Bye. And here's the mouse, folks. Uh, it actually works pretty well. Uh, it's stable. Uh, it's not uh, having any issues uh, here. I actually put this on the other way around, but uh, I'm not gonna waste too much time with it because this mouse has already two years now, three years maybe. So um, yeah, it's. You know, it's it's time. I mean, if it breaks again, I'm not gonna uh, uh, fix it uh, anyway. But we have only two screws here, and uh, yeah, I still have to put the pads here. Very important because uh, actually now it's not really, uh, you know, it's just stopping. You can see it's been worn out. It has three modes, um, so I have like uh, 800, 160, and 220 DPI. Uh, 2200 dpi uh, it's a laser mouse for gaming use it says but anyway it's a uh, Dakota actually it's I found it to be a very very ma nice mouse uh, this is why I kind of struggle to it's it's, it's my own I want to really I, I feel comfortable with it not this shit that I use now I don't even know where it's like five euro mouse uh, I just uh, I hated it and I couldn't work with it now I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm very very accurate, uh, and then I can go on and uh, deal with my design uh, issues, uh, not having to you know just to pray to uh, get a uh, a bit of brush, <laughs> a good brush action uh, on on Photoshop or on uh, whatever uh, software I'm I'm using. Anyway, uh, this is kind of cool. It's kind of a cool thing to do. I just wanted to show it to you. Uh, I have everything button button wise. Everything works. I tested it, and uh, this is a 30 uh, DPI, uh, so it's super fast, medium fast. And I use the the 800 DPI. That's the the best for me. And uh, I have a button here. I didn't know what it is. It's called F. Well. <laughs> Maybe I accidentally pressed it and the mouse fucked up. So <laughs> anyway, it's uh, ah okay. I think it's the color of the ball. Yeah, the uh, wheel uh, changes. I guess like design. Anyway, it's not a super expensive mouse, but it's the mouse that it's worth uh, repairing. Anyway, if you like this video, uh, kind of long, I know. Uh, you know, do your thing. Subscribe, like, and uh, uh, comment if you have a mouse issue. Okay. Good, good. Uh, I can also, you know, even if for the cables, uh, just a piece of information here, even if for the cables you have a plastic thing that's like a socket, you can still fix that. Um, as long as you know where your problem is, you can still fix. Uh, work your way around. It's all about tools. Uh, so if you have the right tools, you will uh, you'll be able to uh, fix uh, your issues. Okay, good, good. I'll uh, see you in the next video. Bye.